In this session, we will examine the administrative information systems. At the end of this session, you will be able to investigate agency-based health information systems, assess the function and information output from selected information systems used in healthcare organizations. To compete in the ever-changing healthcare arena, organizations require quick and immediate access to a variety of types of information, data, and bodies of knowledge for daily clinical, operational, financial, and human resource activities. Information is continuously shared between units or departments within healthcare organizations and is also required for requested from other healthcare organizations, regulatory and government agencies, and edu educational and philanthropic institutions and consumers. Healthcare organizations integrate a variety of clinical and administrative types of information systems. These systems collect, process, and distribute patient-centered data to aid in managing and providing care. Together, they create a comprehensive record of the patient's medical history and support organizational processes. Case management information systems identify resources, patterns, and variances in care to prevent costly complications related to chronic conditions and to enhance the overall outcomes for patients with chronic illnesses. These systems span, span past episodes of treatment and search for trends among records. Once a trend is identified, case management systems provide decision support promoting preventative care. Care plans are a common tool found in case management systems. A care plan is a set of care guidelines that outline the course of treatment and the recommended interventions that should be implemented to achieve optimal results. By using a standardized plan of care, these systems present clinicians with treatment protocols to maximize patient outcomes and support best practices. Case management information systems are especially beneficial for patient populations with a high cost and complex health needs such as the elderly or patients with chronic disease conditions. For example, such systems may be used in treating patients with AIDS. The case management system applies a care plan to treat the patient and manage care better from outpatient to inpatient visits, where opportunistic infections such as pneumocystis pneumonia are common complications. Avoiding these types of complications requires identifying the right resources for care and implementing preventive treatments across all medical visits. Ultimately, this preventive care decreases the cost of care for the patient with AIDS and supports a better quality of life. Such systems increase the value of individual care while controlling the costs and risks associated with long-term health care. Information collected by these systems is processed in a way that helps reduce risks, ensure quality, and decrease costs. Communication systems promote interaction among health care providers and between providers and patients. Such systems have historically been kept separate from other types of health information systems and from one another. Healthcare professionals overwhelmingly recognize the value of these systems. However, so they are now more commonly integrated into the design of other types of systems as a newly developing standard within the industry. Examples of communication systems include call lights, wireless telephones, pagers, email, and instant messaging, which have traditionally been forms of communications targeted at clinicians. Some patients are now able to access their electronic chart from home via the, an internet connection. They can update their own medical record to inform their physician of changes to their health or personal practices that impact their physical condition. Inpatients in hospital settings also receive communication directly to their room. Patients and their families may now, for example, review individualized messages with scheduled tests and procedures for the day or confirm menu choices for their meals. These types of systems may also communicate educational messages such as smoking cessation advice. 
As healthcare begins to introduce more of this technology into practice, the value of having communication tools integrated with other types of systems is being widely recognized. Integrating communication systems with clinical applications provides a real-time approach that facilitates interactions among healthcare team, patients, and their families to enhance care. These systems enhance the flow of communication within an organization and promote an exchange of information to care, for, to care better for patients. The next generation of communication systems will be integrated with other types of healthcare systems and guaranteed to work smoothly. Core business systems enhance administrative tasks within healthcare organization. Unlike clinical information systems whose aim is to provide direct patient care, these systems support the management of healthcare within an organization. Core business systems provide the framework for reimbursement, supportive best practices, quality control, and resource allocation. The four common core business systems are admission, discharge, transfer, A or ADT systems, financial systems, security systems, and scheduling systems. The admission, discharge, and transfer systems provide the backbone structure for the other types of clinical business and business systems. Admitting, billing, and bed management departments most commonly use ADT systems. These systems hold key information on which all other systems rely. For example, ADT systems maintain the patient's name, medical record number, visitor account number, and demographic information such as age, gender, home address, and contact information. Such systems are considered the central source for collecting this type of patient information and communicating it to the other types of healthcare information systems. Financial systems manage the expenses and revenue for providing healthcare. The finance, auditing, and accounting departments within an organization most commonly use financial systems. These systems determine the direction for maintenance and growth for a given facility. They often interface to share information with materials management, staffing, and billing systems to balance the financial impact of these resources within an organization. Financial systems report fiscal outcomes which can then be tracked and related to the organizational goals of the institution. These systems are key components in the decision-making process as healthcare institutions prepare their fiscal budget. They often play a pivotal role in determining the strategic direction for an organization. Acuity systems monitor the range of patient types within a healthcare organization using specific indicators. They track these indicators based on the current patient population within a facility. By monitoring the patient acuity, these systems provide feedback about how intensive the care requirement is for an individual patient or group of patients. Identifying and classifying a patient's acuity can promote better organizational management of the expenses and resources necessary to provide care. Acuity systems help predict the ability and capacity of an organization to care for its current population. They also forecast future trends to allow an organization to successfully strategize on how to meet upcoming market demands. Scheduling systems coordinate staff, services, equipment, and allocation of patient beds. They are frequently integrated with other types of core business systems. By closely monitoring staff and physical resources, these systems provide data to the financial systems. For example, resource scheduling systems may provide information about operating room use or availability of intensive care unit beds and regular nursing unit beds. These systems also provide great assistance to financial systems when they are used to track medical equipment within a facility. Procedures and care are planned when tools or resources are available. Scheduling systems help track resources within a facility while managing the frequency and distribution of those resources. Order entry systems are one of the most important systems in use today. They automate the way the orders have traditionally been initiated for the patients. That is, clinicians place orders using these systems instead of creating traditional handwritten transcriptions on the paper. Order entry systems provide major safeguards by ensuring that physicians' orders are legible and complete. 
thereby providing a level of patient safety that was historically missing with the paper-based orders. Computerized physician order entry systems provide decision support and automated alert functionality that was unavailable with paper-based orders. The Institute of Medicine estimates that medical errors Medical errors cost the United States approximately $37.6 billion each year. Nearly $17 billion of those dollars are associated with preventable errors. Consequently, the federal agency recommends eliminating reliance on handwriting for ordering medications and other treatments needs. Because of the global concern for patient safety as a result of incorrect and misinterpreted orders, Healthcare organizations are incorporating order entry systems into their operations as a standard tool for practice. Such systems allow for clear and legible orders, thereby both promoting patient safety and streamlining care. Although much of the health information technology literature suggests that physicians are resistant to adopting health information technology, a recent study by Alder et al. in 2010 found that physicians who use information technology were more satisfied overall with their careers. Most specialty disciplines within healthcare have an associated patient care information system. These patient-centered systems focus on collecting data and disseminating information related to direct care. Several of these systems have become mainstream types of systems used in healthcare. The four systems most commonly encountered in healthcare include the clinical documentation system, pharmacy information system, laboratory information system, and radiology information systems. The clinical documentation system, also known as clinical information systems, or CIS, are the most commonly used type of patient care support system within the healthcare organization. CISs are designed to collect patient data in real time. They enhance care by putting data at the clinician's fingertips and enabling decision making where it needs to occur, that is, at the bedside. For that reason, these systems often are easily accessible at the point of care for caregivers interacting with the patient. Clinical information systems are patient-centered, meaning they contain the observations, interventions, and outcomes noted by the care team. Team members enter information such as the plan of care, hemodynamic data, laboratory results, clinical notes, allergies, and medications. All members of the treatment team use clinical documentation systems, for example, pharmacists, allied health workers, nurses, physician support staff, and many others access the clinical record for the patient using these systems. Frequently, this type of systems are also referred to as the electronic patient record or electronic health record. The pharmacy information systems also have become mainstream patient care support systems. They typically allow pharmacists to order, manage, and dispense medications for a facility. They also commonly incorporate information regarding allergies and height and weight to ensure effective medication management. Pharmacy information systems streamline the order entry and dispensing verification and authorization process for medication administration. They often interface with clinical documentation and order entry systems so that clinicians can order and document the administration of medications and prescriptions to patients while having the benefits of decision support, alerting, and interaction checking. Laboratory information systems were perhaps some of the first systems ever used in healthcare. Because of their long history of use within medicine, laboratory systems have been modeled for the design and implementation of other types of patient care support systems. Laboratory information systems report on blood, body fluid, and tissue samples along with biological specimens collected at the bedside and received in a central laboratory. They provide clinicians with a reference range for tests indicating high, low, or normal values to make care decisions. Often the laboratory system provides result information directing clinicians toward the next course of action within a given treatment. The final type of patient care support system commonly found within healthcare is the radiology information system, or RIS, found in radiology departments. These systems schedule results and store information related to diagnostic radiology procedures. One feature found in most radiology systems is picture archiving and communication system, PACS. The PACS may be a standalone system kept separate from the main radiology system, or it can be integrated with the RIS or CIS. 
These systems collect, store, and distribute medical images such as computed tomography scans, CTs, MRIs, magnetic re renaissance images, or an x-rays. PACs replace traditional hard copy films with digital media that are easy to store, retrieve, and present to clinicians. The benefit of RIS and PACs is their ability to assist in diagnosing and storing vital patient care support data. The mobility of patients both geographically and within a single healthcare delivery system challenges information systems because data must be captured whenever and wherever the patient receives care. In the past, managed care information systems were implemented to address these issues. According to Chiotti and Zoto in 96, a managed care information system can quickly cross organizational boundaries, includes an, enter includes an enterprise wide master patient index, or MPI, and offers access across provider geographic and departmental lines. Consequently, data can be obtained at, at any and all of the areas where a patient interacts with the healthcare system. Patient tracking mechanisms continue to be home, but the financial impact of healthcare has also changed these systems to some extent. The information systems currently in use enable nurses and physicians to make clinical decisions while being mindful of their financial ramifications. In the future, there will be a great improvement in the information systems and systems that support health information exchange are likely to continue to emerge. Many health care um, organizations now aggregate data in a data warehouse for the purpose of mining data to discover new relationships and build new organizational knowledge. By developing a single comprehensive database, the healthcare system was able to facilitate communications among physicians, particularly consulting physicians from outside the system and maintain compliance with privacy regulations. The most basic element of a database system is the data. Data refers to raw facts that can be consist of an unorganized text, graphic, sound, or video. Information is the data that has been processed. It has meaning. Information is organized into a way that people find meaningful and useful. Even useful information can be lost if one is stuck in an unorganized information. Computers can come to the rescue by helping to create order out of chaos. Computer science and information science are designed to help cut down the amount of information to a more manageable size and organize it so that users can cope with it more efficiently through the use of databases and database program technology. Learning about the basic databases and database management programs is paramount so that users can apply data and information management principles in healthcare. Databases are structured or organized collections of data that are typically the main component of an information system. Databases and database management software allow the user to import, sort, arrange, structure, organize, and store data and turn those data into useful information. An individual can set up a personal database to organize recipes, music, names, and addresses, notes, bills, and other data. In healthcare, databases and information systems make key information available to healthcare providers and ancillary personnel to promote the provision of quality patient care. The mobility of patients, both geographically and within a single healthcare delivery system, challenge information systems because data must be captured wherever and whenever the patient receives care. In the past, managed care information systems were implemented to address these issues. Databases consist of fields or columns and records or rows. Within each record, one of the fields is identified as the primary key or key field. This primary key contains a code, name, number, or other information that acts as a unique identifier for that record. In the healthcare system, for example, a patient is assigned a patient number or ID that is unique for that patient. As you compile related records, you create data files or tables. A data file is a collection of related records. Therefore, databases consist of one or more related data files or tables. An entity represents a table, and each field within the table becomes an attribute of that entity. The database developer must critically think about the attributes for each specific entity. 
For example, the entity disease might have the attributes of chronic disease, acute disease, or communicable disease. The name of the entity disease implies that the entity is about diseases. The fields or attributes are chronic, acute, and communicable. The database management system is an important program because before it was available, many health systems and businesses had dozens of database files with incomplete formats. Because patient data requires or comes from a variety of sources, sources, these separated, isolated data files require duplicate entry of the same information, thereby increasing the risk of data entry error. The design of the relational databases eliminates data duplication. Some examples of popular database management systems include Microsoft Access or Visual Fox Pro, Corel's Paradox, or Oracle's Oracle Database. The integration of technology within healthcare organizations offers limitless possibilities. As new types of systems emerge, clinicians will become smarter and more adept at incorporating these tools into their daily practice. Success will be achieved when healthcare incorporates technology systems in a way they, that they are not viewed as a separate tools to support healthcare practices, but rather as necessary instruments to provide healthcare. Patients, too, will become savvier at using healthcare information system as the means of communication and managing their personal and preventative care. In the future, these two mindsets will become expectations for healthcare and not simply a high-tech benefit as they are often viewed today. Ultimately, it is not the type of systems that are adopted that is important, but rather the method in which they are put into practice. In an ideal world, robust and transparent information technologies will support clinical and administrative functions and promote safe, quality, and cost-effective care.